Okay guys, so this is an addendum video to a video I did a few months back, I think it was back in the middle of March, where I was uh, saying that I was using mostly JST connectors for my uh, brushless micro quads. And I've since um, started using the XD30 connectors on more and more of my micros. And I sort of, sort of wanted to give you an update as to why I'm making that switch. I'm not switching these JSTs over on these smaller motor setups. So, for example, this, this quad here has the 1103 motors here, the Racestar 1103s. So, and also uh, this uh, X2 Elf here that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. These have the uh, DOS 1102 motors. I'm still sticking with the XT, I'm sorry, with the JST for the smaller motors. And uh, it's basically smaller motors, smaller props, uh, lighter weights. I'm sticking with the JST connectors and sticking with the batteries uh, for those with the JST connectors because they still perform just fine on 2S. Uh, where I'm sort of decided to make the cutoff is on these bigger ones uh, like the AR Fun. Uh, this has an 1104 7500 kV motor. It originally came with a JST connector and I swapped it out for an XD30 and the performance improved dramatically on a 3S battery because I was using a 3S battery with a uh, XD30 like this and then using an adapter to connect to the JST connector and the performance wasn't as good as uh, the Lizard here which originally came with an XT30 connector. And these have uh, 1104 uh, 6000 kV motors, so they're lower kV on a two inch prop. That performed better than the AR Fun with the JST connector on 1104 7500 kV motors. So I swapped the connector out to an XT30 and uh, definitely felt an improvement. I probably should have swapped the connector all the way out to the board because the wire here is different. I'm, I think uh, this uh, wire that's connected to the XT30 is an 18 gauge wire and that wire that this wire is soldered to is a 20 gauge wire. So I still have a little bit of a bottleneck here although I shortened it up. Uh, I just didn't want to take the whole quad apart and have to uh, desolder the wire off the board. I just want to see if there was going to be an improvement and there definitely was an improvement on the XT30. So basically for the future on any of the smaller lighter builds with the smaller motors, say 1104, say under 6000 kV and 2S and only a 2S build, I'm going to stick with JSTs. But anything bigger, say 1104, 7000 kV and higher 2S or 3S, I'm going to be going with an XT30. So. I just wanted to update you guys an addendum to the original video I made on JST versus XT30 connectors and where I am starting to use the XT30 connectors and why. And I think if you guys are building these micros with the bigger motors, 1104, 1105, 1106, you're going to want to go with the XT30 connector, especially if you're going to be doing 3S. So I just started doing some 3S batteries. I got a whole slew of batteries that I bought, so much of 2S and 3S batteries with uh, mostly XT30 connectors finding that the power is a lot better on the XT30, even though the weight is higher. Um, basically, the power uh, overcomes the weight in this case. So if you guys are uh, doing builds, definitely go with the XT30 for those uh, motors and, and uh, props that I've specified. So that's all. Um, just a little PSA announcement on where I'm going and I think where these micros are going. They're just getting bigger, more powerful, bigger batteries, heavier, bigger props. So. You're going to need uh, better batteries and uh, better connectors. Now, still going through my battery roundup. I'm going to probably do a round one because I have enough batteries for a round one right now. I have a bunch more batteries still coming in. But that video is still in the works and it's going to be a super long video as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, probably not going to be all that interesting unless you're really into the technical details of that. But I know some of you guys are. So I just want to let you know that video is coming. It's in the works. It's just going to take some time to work it out because I got a lot of testing to do. So anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.